Today, I'd like to show you how to submit your upcoming music to um, Spotify editorial playlists. Now, if you don't know how this works, uh, Spotify has their own playlists. They're pretty big. And if you get to be on these playlists, you can get a lot of plays. So uh, how do you get into Spotify editorial playlists? Well, when you release a song, remember I had a video about how to publish music with DistroKid or CD Baby or whatever. After you have uploaded your song and you've distributed it correctly, you choose a certain release date. Usually you choose about two weeks up front. And a couple of days after you published it, you will be able to go to your Spotify for Artists page. Right now, this is the page of the artist I'm working with. He asked me to um, pitch his song to Spotify. And right here in the music part, if you go to upcoming, you will see your upcoming music that is not released yet and that you can pitch to Spotify. So let's pitch this song. So I'm going to choose here, pitch a song. And it immediately starts to ask me for a lot of information. This video is going to be a part of two videos because I want to show you some very, very useful AI tools that uh, can save you a lot of time and um, make it make this whole process a lot easier for you. Because like I know that some people, when they think about genres or how to write a picture, everything that could be a little bit complicated. And this is not just for Spotify for artists, but today I'm going to use this specific medium just to show you what I mean. So I'm going to choose this song and I'm going to hit next. Now it asks me for the artist location. I'm going to leave it as is. And right now it immediately asks me to choose for three genres. And I know that this is a problem for a lot of artists. You think, I don't know what genre I am. I don't know what to do. And this is the first AI tool I want to show you. This is called Cyanite. Website is cyanite.ai. Let me move this for a moment so you can see it's cyanite.ai. You just uh, you need to register, it's free. You take an MP3 of your song, you drop it in, and after a short analysis, it shows you pretty much anything there is to know about the song. Look, BPM, key, uh, male singer, genre uh, tag. So you got rock, you've got rock, folk, country, singer, songwriter, and all these things. Subgenres, blues rock, folk rock. This is very, very easy. So if I just choose these three, rock, folk, country, singer, songwriter. Let's go back to this and look for singer, songwriter. Great. And what else did we have? Sorry. We had folk, folk rock. Let's see if that's even here. There we go. Folk rock is here. I also agree with it. You know, it's not that I have no idea about music and I'm just like, yeah, whatever. Cyanide says it's good. I've, I've analyzed a lot of songs with Cyanide, and I'm, every time I, I look at an analysis, I'm like, wow, that, that's pretty spot on. Nice thing about Cyanide also, if um, you play with it a little bit more, you'll see that um, at some point here, you have an option to see similar artists, which is really, really useful. If you're not sure what kind of artist sounds like you, Cyanide can do that for you. It's just an AI tool that scans the music and just compares it to other things. Very, very useful. So we have, oh, it's folk country, not folk rock. All right, I think it's also folk rock, but well, I'm going to go with sign it for this. Let's look for folk country. I'm going to go back to folk rock then, if that's the case. And what else did we have? Singer, songwriter, folk rock. And let's go back here. And just rock. Okay, well, let's take rock. So I'm going to go here. We even have some subgenres, so maybe I can choose from these. Blues rock, folk rock, indie alternative. Let's see if I can maybe use one of these. So, indie alternative. Or let's just choose rock in general. Gives me all kinds of options for rock. All right, let's, have, let's go back to cyanide and see which best option we have for rock. So we have blues rock or folk rock. Folk rock I already chose. We can take blues rock then. Let's go back here. And I could choose blues rock. And now I've got three genres that are pretty spot on for the song. I know the song, I produced it. So singer, songwriter, folk rock, and blues rock. That's cool. And then you have music cultures. This is something that I'd recommend not to touch unless you really made this culture. Some people make Arabic music. Some people make African music. Some people make Judaic music. Some people make Buddhist music. So if you don't do any of these specific cultures, just click on none of these. 
by the way, before we continue, I would also highly recommend, um, even if you don't get into um, Spotify editorial playlists, I highly recommend that you submit your song because um, when you submit your song to promotion, even if you don't get into a Spotify editorial playlist, all your followers are still going to get your song on their release radar when the song is out. So it's a great way to have your followers hear the song without pushing it too much. So let's continue. Let's see what else we can do here. Choose moods. Cyanide can sort me out with this too. Let's go back to cyanide. And if we keep going for a while, we will see moods. It says chill, romantic, and happy. Now, Spotify for artists, I think it lets you choose two. Let's go back here. It's chill, romantic, and happy. If I could only choose two, I would say happy and romantic. I would leave the chill part alone because I know the song. I wouldn't say necessarily, but from these two, I agree mostly with this. Choose styles. Let's see what Cyanide has to say. This. I definitely would choose acoustic, by the way, because I know the song. Um, and other than that, there isn't anything here that fits here. But again, you can look for this information on Cyanide. It's a great tool for that. What kind of instruments? If you're not sure, of course, if you it's your own song, of course, you know what it is. But like, if you're not sure, Cyanide will tell you that too. I'm going to choose acoustic guitar, bass guitar, electric guitar. Um, and there's some organ in there too. Where's the organ? Organ. Okay. What else? Is it a remix? No. Is it a cover? No. We record it in a studio, and this is not an instrumental, and then it just asks you for a language, and I'm going to choose English. And now we can move forward. So now it chooses the top cities. What is this? Tell us about the process of creating this song. All right, so this is the description part. This is your song pitch. And for this part, I'm going to make another video with another tool. So this on this video, I pretty much covered how to use Cyanide for all this tags, metadata, you know, like um, genres, moods, whatever. I'm really happy with Cyanide. I highly recommend you use it too. But for writing a song pitch, we need a little bit more sophistication. We need, a, we need an AI tool that's a little bit more complicated. And I'm going to make a second video. I'm going to make a part two where we're going to write a song pitch for this page with ChatGTP. So I hope you find this useful and stay tuned for the next part.